All right, and welcome to the Mixed Up Mike Show. I got here the one and only Shogun. Thank you. Thank you for having me, brother. Love, 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 love having you here, man. Thank you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be back here. I'm just doing what I love. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, definitely been rocking it, man. Um, but yeah, I wanted to start this show with this man right here because he means a lot to me. He brought me back Thank into you. the Thank scene. You. And I wouldn't be here talking to you or being on the decks, doing anything that I do, you know, meeting all these new people, awesome people, if it wasn't for this man. Thank you, man. I'm very humbled. Thank you. So having him here to be on my first show is definitely a privilege to me so definitely grateful to have you here man yeah no problem definitely a big influence um how'd you start djing when Uh, when probably the late 90s um you know uh, i got a buddy brought me to a party um actually right here in nashua um the old boom uh seeing some of the first inspiration djs inspirational djs that got me going was uh people like pharaoh midas um, you know, Robbie Hugs, uh, those guys, they, they were like first, I, I don't know, ever since I saw him, I just, just being in that scene, I just, one thing led to another, next thing I got my first Dex, and bought him off my buddy, um, DJ Dujo, may him rest in peace, unfortunately he's not with us anymore, um, but Sad. I got my uh, two turntables, a Gemini mixer, and it started from there, I got my, went to Sally Records, just started picking out vinyl. You know, and uh, the rest is history. Nice, man. I, I remember back in the day, Rhythm Alliance, John Melvin coming oh, yeah. over my house, spinning tracks, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Calling yeah. me from Boston. Oh, yeah. yeah I was very fortunate scene. to be part of that crowd. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, we go back a long way. Yeah, we do. People might not know that, but we definitely go back a long way. But um, the whole industry, the whole DJ industry has definitely changed, you know. Since oh, we started. Yeah, big time. You know, big time. I, from when you started up to now, like, how have you seen it evolve, the technology? The oh, technology? It's, it's unreal. It's like, it's, it's changing so fast. Um, you know, my heart's always still with that good old house sound, that soulful, uplifting, you know, aggressive bass hitting, you know, vibe that just I still will never, I can never get out of my bones. Um, but you know, they're always, re, you know, reworking, reworking this shit, you know, always making things better. Um, but it's, you know, it's, it's always, always changing. You know, I know dubstep is a really big thing these days. Uh, a lot of kids liking that, uh, you know, I think some of it's all right, but you know, some of it just doesn't have that soul, that feeling why I fell in love with the music in the first place. That funk. Hell yeah. Yeah. That groove, you know? Yeah. A lot of drum and bass too out there. Some of that's, a lot of that's really good too. Yeah. Definitely with uh, the drum and bass, but yeah, that that soulful house uh, with that funk has, you know, like you said, those bangers. Those are those yeah. tracks that stay classics. Oh yeah, you know, and you can pull them out no matter if it's ten years, twenty years, thirty years yeah. down the road, yep. and still gives you people. chicken skin. Man. Still gives you chicken skin. <laughs> yeah, you chicken pe- skin. People are gonna be like, "What is this?" And yeah. you know. <laughs> Yeah, straight up. But, um, you know, you got Soul Speed Productions. Yes. You got yeah. that going. Very fortunate to be able to start that, by the way. Um, our soul, uh, uh, soul Speed Saturdays, you know, uh, every month, 603 Bar and Lounge, Dover, New Hampshire. If it wasn't for places like that, we wouldn't be talking right now. We wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm very grateful to the establishment, the people that own that, and, um, you know, grateful to be in the position I'm in. I never thought I would be in this position, but... You know, uh, at 44 now, you know, um, hashtag old man DJs straight up. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I'm just going to, you know, you know, it's uh, it's it just keeps, you know, it, it, I'm going to just keep doing what I love to do until the end of time, you know, for me. And uh, we'll see where it goes. You know, whatever. To me, it's it's all fun. It's not like I'm trying to be somebody, but, you know, I'm not trying to do it for fame. I'm doing it for love. And that's how it'll always be. And we'll just see where how far that takes me. Nice man, and and all the DJs out there that think you're gonna just grab some decks and jump into this scene and think you're gonna like get famous and make money, 
I get news no. for you. No, no, <laughs> not even. No, nope, nope. There's nope. probably about a million, two million DJs ahead of you. Yeah. So unless you stand out above the crowd and do something extremely special, you yeah. still have to wait in line. It's almost, <laughs> almost all of it's been done, and that's why everything is just now remixed. And you know, there's some there's some uh, creative cats out there that are doing some new stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, hey, you know, it, you can't hate, man. If they're getting they're getting the rec the you know the recognition, notoriety, all all power to them. Exactly, exactly. That's why I wanted to make this show. You know, where I can have DJs come on and do Q and A's. You know, where fans can get to know their DJs a little bit yeah. more personal. You know, yeah. on on that level, and you know, maybe have it where I can have guests, you know, even call up and you know for yeah. questions. Yeah, I mean, like you're onto something right here. You know, you go a long way with this. Um, uh, like I said, I'm honored to be your first guest. You know, everything is still a work in progress. I know, um, but dude, I know you can definitely get some traction doing this. And yeah, you know what? It's all about the love. Like I said. It's not about it's not about fame, fortune, you know. But um, it's exciting, you know. We got one life to live. We do what we love to do, and we just see where it takes us. Yeah, man, that's why I'm doing this right here. I, I just think it's cool, you know what I mean? Like I just started live streaming a set, and then was seeing other DJs how they were doing stuff, and yes. I was like, wow, that that's pretty cool. And then I kind of got the idea of this show of like actually doing a q and a type of show and then having the dj spin after the fact and there's not really any kind of shows no, out there, there that are no. doing it and you know i do it for the love too man I, it, it's all about no, the it, love. it shows too man you can you can definitely tell the people that 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 love doing what they do because it, it really does come out in their music uh their personality um, you know, it comes out in all of that. Just it, it, your love definitely shows your your actions with it um, means more than anything. You know, anybody can say what you know. Oh, I love doing this. I want to do that. But it's all about at the end of the day is what you love, and and that that will drive you. Exactly. You can say you know you love this, but if you ain't doing it, how are you loving it? Right. Exactly. You, know? you ain't so loving it too much. <laughs> exactly. And my daughter Ava just came up to me and said she wanted to learn how to dj so i'm really uh excited for that one i can't yeah, wait uh -oh. to start teaching it <laughs> here we go <laughs> she'll get better than me <laughs> real quick she'll be taking over everything <laughs> that's too funny. but uh we got a uh, there's a big event coming up isn't there uh yeah we have tenacious from uh the uk uh, i don't probably a lot of people you guys don't know who they are um but um they do one of the no almost one of the number one radio shows in london Center Force Radio eight eight three, um, and they they uh, they're killing it out there. They uh, they do big shows, um, but we got some coming up in April second, uh, Jewel Nightclub in Manchester. Um, we have DJ O'Sheen. He's a legend in himself. He'll be opening up for them. Um, we got two rooms. Um, it's it's gonna go off. They got a pre party at the six oh three Bar and Lounge Dover. Uh, two hours. They're doing a live stream. Uh, they're a radio show back in London. Uh, so that's going to be pretty exciting. So it's going to be a pretty full full weekend. Uh, got a lot lot going on that weekend. Nice, nice. And get nice. your tickets. Eventbrite.com, Tenacious UK. Yeah, definitely get your tickets. This show is going to be definitely hot. Yeah. Like you don't want to miss this one. No, you got If you're in the New England area, you need to get to Manchester on April second. You know, Tenacious. For real. Coming over the pond, and they're coming. Right to Manchester, to Soul Speed Productions, to my yeah. man. If you like house, right here. you like that soul, this is the event you want to go to. Um, and like I said, April 2nd, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Soul Speed Productions, and you will you should be able to get all the info from, uh, from that page. Awesome, man. And uh, so your spinning style, you know, has definitely changed over the years, me watching you. I noticed nowadays you, you you love the loop. You love doing those <laughs> yeah, loops. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't do that on vinyl, man. Couldn't do that. On no, vinyl. no. Yeah, you, you had to have two of the same records, yeah. and yeah, you it's know. a game changer for me. Yeah, yeah. and I, I but I noticed you know you use your loops in the beginning, in the middle, in the end. Like you put them in places where you know you, I don't think a lot of people would normally put them. You know, and I you know. 
it's the way it creative. sounds is just amazing. Thank you. You man. know, and how you control these decks, you know, is phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. It's like, you know, when I watch you, you know, spin in, you got the mixer going, you got the loops going, you got all the effects going, you're going back and forth, and, you, you know, you're just putting on a clinic, you know, yeah. straight clinic. And, you know, you've put in the hours. I know you've put in <laughs> the you, hours. You. you know, you've never, you've been doing this. You know, the I'm love sure, of this. Show a little bit of the ADD. Uh, <laughs> we'll come out on it too. I'm sure most of us good DJs have a little form of ADD or OCD or one of those DDs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, know you make a recording, you hear one little thing, you're like, oh man, I trash it. You know, not good enough. But so we're also going to have Mr. Shogun here spin for us. So what kind of, what kind of sound you going to, I uh, got, us got that good old house sound, man. That uh, that's, that's kind of like that sound I was talking about earlier. Um, just that new rework, you know, house sound um, stuff from Tool Room Records, um, you know, um, stuff like that. Just that that good old club banging sound, you know. Awesome, awesome. Let's get this set up. All right, we're gonna take a little uh, break at the moment, so we're gonna go to a uh, a main screen, at the beginning. Be right back.
everybody was freaking. From all over the world.
look around you. Change your heart. It will astound you.
I want to thank Mr. Shogun, a.k.a. Jay Harriman, for coming on the Mixed thank Up you, Mike thank you. show. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. That was actually really fun. Thank you. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Love thank you, you, brother. Love you too, man. And for you guys out there, going to try to bring you a new episode every week with a different DJ. So hang in there. Hang tight because... My next announcement will be coming soon. All right. Hopefully, all of you have enjoyed this show. And this is a work in progress. And I'm just going to try to build it, make it better. And this is all yeah, for you definitely guys. got something. You for you got guys. Something. This is for the fans. I'm calling you out, Todd. You next. <laughs> <laughs> Todd. Yeah. Got yeah, you, Todd. AKA Pharaoh. Buddy Loves. Buddy yes, loves. Can't forget about Buddy loves. You gotta text me back, Buddy loves. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> but I want to wanna say thank you, crew. All you saw Miss Hayes, SP1, Sean Spaulding, 
Jimmy Juice. Don't forget about the Juice. Yep. All the Soul Speak well, crew. I'll be hitting somebody else. If I am, I'm in trouble. I'll be hitting all them up. I'll be hitting them all. Love up. all you guys. All the Soul Speak guys. Love you. And we got now Handy Productions. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's funny right. Shit, funny shit. All right. So, but yes. And the biggest thing I want to say right now is April 2nd. April buy 2nd. Your get tickets. your tickets through Tenacious. They are coming here. We have to make them feel welcome. They're coming from the I know UK. We won't do them as best justice as we possibly can because you know they kill it out there. They're landing over and coming to Manchester, the jewel. <laughs> Come on, man. We got O'Sheen, we got it, we got Maya Love. I'm a legend. I mean, Jay Spin and Buddy Loves. And some surprise guests. Uh, Wiggles. I mean, yes. surprise guests. I'm spinning. I mean, it, it's yes. it's going to be off yes. the chain. You are man. in the back. Yes, you are. You'll be playing. Yes. Yes. I'm very much looking forward to that. Go I wait, can't wait, you. man. I can't wait. So, until next time, internet world, love you. Peace.